Hey guys, Shadebear1000 here. Today, we're going to try another Meals on Wheels. This one is pan fried chicken, fettuccine, and carrots. Let's see what it tastes like. Okay guys, let's go ahead and open this up. This is uh, fettuccine. Well, it's, um, let me see if I can see it here again. Pan fried chicken fettuccine and carrots. So, I haven't had this one yet. So let's check it out together. Alright. It doesn't look too bad. Okay, let's uh, give it a stir. I haven't had the, the carrots. Monkey had the carrots the other night. If you saw that video, she had carrots with hers. Let's give it a, a good stir. Um, these things, they're all, so far they're all with the same heating instructions. And here I'll give, I'll give you the instructions again, just, just in case. Um, hard to read. Uh, for for best results, you, you should thaw it first, but uh, I very seldom do. And you can't you can't hardly read them instructions. See that because they're on clear plastic with black letters. So, but but what you do is you microwave them. You're supposed to thaw them and then heat heat on high for two to three minutes with an additional 30 second intervals if necessary. The conventional oven preheat the oven to 325, 325 degrees. Remove film, place tray onto cookie sheet and then into oven. Cook for 15 to 20 minutes or until fully heated. So I mean, but see you can't hardly read through that stuff and then it gets the uh, you know Get the uh, what you call it on it, but this doesn't look bad at all, guys. Really, I may enjoy this. All right, so first, I'm going to try the carrots, all right, and then we'll try the, the fettuccine, the chicken. That, that does look pretty good, so. Okay, so here's a carrot. She's right. Um, they are pretty good. Hot. <laughs> Those carrots are pretty good. I had a comment and um, said that they they like their uh, vegetables well done, so that wouldn't be an issue. Yeah, you would like these. I mean, you you know, it's not like they're soggy, but yeah, you would like these. I mean, there's there's texture there, just not as much as as I would like. These so far aren't bad. These carrots, uh, they're they're very good. So let's try. I'm gonna try a noodle first, and then I'll try a chicken, then I'll try them both together. So here's the noodles. Mm. Not bad. That does have it does have a little flavor to it. So let me um holiday today, so monkey's napping. She did go to work. She did do a patient this morning. And she come home and wash the truck and wash the dishes and and she come in and I was kinda laying laying down watching T V. Well, I watch YouTube but uh I've been feeling real good today, and I ain't get any sleep last night. So, next thing I know, here she comes. She <laughs> lay down on the bed and start watching something. Next thing I know, she rolls over. I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> I looked over at her, and she just 
She's been sleeping since. It's only been a couple hours, but still, so that was cute. All right, here's the chicken. Okay. Okay, now that chicken is good. I mean, this meal is delicious. And like I said, for those of you that have, don't know, so that's why I kind of got to repeat this because I'm doing so many of these. If somebody just joins in, they're going, why didn't you season it? And they're going to put that in the comments. And I'm going to have to type, you know, I don't season it. For those of you that don't know, I don't season it because I want to taste what the food tastes like. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bite together. And then I've got some pepper right here. And I'm going to throw some pepper on there. Just just some pepper right now and I'll let you know what it tastes like. But if it's good without, I, I, I look at it this way. If it's good without seasoning, it's damn sure going to be good with it. You know, I mean, if it's got texture and it's got a little flavor, it's going to be good. Uh, it's like a, I hate going to it to... I haven't run into the problem down here as much as I did in Ohio, but I hated when I when I'd go to a, a barbecue joint and they would just have just everything was just smothered with barbecue sauce. I'm like, look, I like I like barbecue sauce, but I want to taste the meat. You know, I'm, I want to flavor the meat with a little bar. I didn't, you know, what are you trying to hide? Is what you know my way of thinking. You know, what are you masking? Why do you need that much barbecue sauce? I mean, you know, why not? Why not just give me a spoon and a, and a bowl of your barbecue sauce? Because you can't taste, you know, I couldn't taste the chicken or ribs or, or, or steak, whatever I happen to be eating. So, you don't want to put, so that way I don't want to give you guys the wrong impression. Somebody gets these, goes ahead and gets these, and this it's like the same exact thing. He said these were good and they suck. Well, even something bland can taste good with with uh, seasoning on it so that's why i'm doing it without the seasoning guys so that way i can taste the actual meal and go you know for me it's not for me you know but let's try this mm. yeah yeah this is very good the noodles are good or the chicken's good it's real chicken too uh I mean, you can taste that. You can taste the texture and the flavor. It's real chicken, so. Mm. My favorite one yet. Mm, this one's going to be hard. You know what? I'm going for it. The one I gave Monkey was a 7. I gave it a 7. I'm going 7.5 on this one. I'm going 7.5 out of 10 because this was very good um yeah well let me put a little a little pepper I, I got something hang on i had something hang on all right uh yeah i'm going with the i'll go with 7.5 on this uh it's really hard for me to get up around nine on anything i'm really picky when it comes to food like this adobo adobo can we all say this together adobo I ah, screwed it okay so badia I think is maybe but anyway this is good for all kinds of stuff guys I put this on almost everything like that commercial I put that shit on everything uh, not really but 90% of the stuff I do flavor I do flavor with this stuff uh, Lowry Season Salt is still my favorite. I'm not being endorsed by either one of these companies. But this is good. I mean, uh, well, there's no, no MSG in it. Um, it's, this was fairly cheap. I think this was buy one, get one for half off. Buy one, get one, or buy one, get one 50% off or something. Um, so, you can put it on fish, chicken, steak, you know, meat, vegetables, uh, seafood, shrimp, hamburgers, you know, it's just, uh, that's all the stuff you can put on. So, it's very versatile, and I really like it, so. Alright, so we put some black pepper on there, now we're going to put some of this on there. 
that wasn't a lot guys I was just barely sprinkling it but it looked like it um, but that's that stuff this stuff here guys is really good and um, chili oh yeah you know with the uh, with your chili sauce and stuff oh it just it just enhances everything you know don't don't use you know too much but in a chili you know you're gonna want want to you know put quite a bit of this in you know maybe quarter cup <laughs> and and you know seasonings a lot of people don't understand seasonings will will um, will flavor down as they cook uh, most of them anyway so it's it's always good not to um, put your seasonings like if you have a which we don't but if you have cabinets up above your your stove uh, don't don't keep your uh, seasonings there like a lot of people actually keep their seasonings on the stove don't do that because it does take away this the flavor and I did that as an experiment one time a few years ago just an experiment for myself over a three week period with them off to the side here the same exact seasoning and with them on the stove over a three week period and the uh, I was using Lowry season salt salt and pepper is what I was using that only and um, all three of them um, lost flavor over the three weeks compared to the ones I had over away so let's try this with the seasoning mm. yeah that's very good guys very good yeah seven and a half so this is the highest ranking yet now, like I said, I don't know what kind you guys get, but this is um, food with care. But if you if you get this kind, it says it's got that label on it. And if you get this kind, and you want to try the, the the pan fried chicken fettuccine and carrots, two thumbs up. Yeah, it's definitely a seven and a half. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, still waiting on the storm. I don't think anything going to happen today. Maybe Tuesday or Wednesday we might get something. But so far, it's looking like uh, the worst of it's going to miss us. I mean, I'm sure we'll get some, uh, we'll get some, uh, we'll get some rain and some, some, you know, a little bit of inclement weather. Uh, we may get around 40 mile an hour winds, which is nothing because the last one we had 70 mile an hour winds coming over the top of the house. We were fine, so we should be all right. But I'll keep you posted on that and stay tuned for another one of these. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to check out Monkey 1000 channel. Alright guys, so that being said, Shea Bear, Met the Man of Legend. I'm gone for now. Peace guys. Stay cool.